Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use for loops in Scala. So let's get started. First of all, we will see the basic syntax of for loop in Scala, and then we are going to see how to use them. So the basic syntax is you use the for keyword, and then in parentheses, you declare a variable, and then you declare this kind of uh, arrow, which is pointing towards the variable and then you give some range so you give here some range here and then in the curly brackets you uh, just execute some uh, statements so something like this so this is the basic syntax now let's see how we can actually use a for loop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to declare a var variable i i don't need to declare it like this uh, for loop will automatically take this i as a variable which is a mutable variable and then we need to provide a range so range can be given in this form for example so i will give the range between 1 to 5 so what this basically means is we want to provide the range between 1 to 5 and let's say we want to print the value of i so we can do it something like this print the value of i using keyword 2 okay and then let's print the value and let's execute our code and let's see if it runs or not so you can see it prints the value from 1 to 5 so in here this 2 is a method so when you hover over this uh, 2 you can see it's a method and which takes one argument which is an integer right so you can uh, give the range something like this so this two method you apply on integer so you can just write one dot and then uh, this method take an argument so you can uh, give this argument like this also and the result will be the same so you can see the result will be the same there is one more method called until you can use with for loop to generate this kind of uh, range so you can use uh, instead of two you can just write until here and then you just write six here instead of five because it goes until six which is five okay and once again i will just uh, print the value of i and you can see the value of i using until let me write until here so we will understand which value is coming from where so you can see 1 to 5 using the to method and 1 to 5 using the until method you can also write until like this as we have uh, done with two like this and this will also work so let me run the code and the result will be same so two and until are methods which gives us the range so let me repeat what i said so this i is a variable then this arrow which is pointing towards the variable is called the generator and this one to five is called the range okay and then inside the for loop you uh, just execute some statement now you can also give multiple ranges inside a for loop so let me show you uh, that also so i will just copy this for loop and paste it like this and i will just press ctrl shift f to uh, just format my code and you can uh, do something like this so one two for example uh, nine here and then using a semicolon you can provide the next range so for example i can write j and then this arrow which points towards the j and then i can just write one two three here for example and then we want to print the value of i and j so i'm going to just give a space here and then print the value of j here right so let me give a space here and let me just run the code once again and you can see it prints the value of i and j from here so you can uh, see the result here one 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 two and one three so one two three uh, is the value of j and 111 is the value of i so it's like a nested loop and after uh, this range is exhausted this j starts again so the value of uh, j starts from 1 2 3 
again 1 2 3 again and the value of uh, i goes until 9 so it's like a nested loop i must write uh, multiple ranges here okay because we are providing multiple ranges here now you can use for loop to iterate over lists also lists we haven't learned yet but i just want to show uh, this example to you so for example i declare a val lst for list and then let's uh, just create this list so is equal to uh, list which is a keyword and using this keyword we can create a list so for example one comma two comma three comma four or any uh, number five six so these are the numbers i'm giving here and then this creates a list and this list I can provide instead of this range so I can just write I using list here so this is a list we have created and then this for loop will iterate over this list and print every uh, member of the list so one two three five four it will print like this okay so let's run the code and let's see what happens so you can see it prints the member of the list so you can use for loop over lists also now you can use for loop for filtering purpose also so for example we have this list I'm going to just uh, copy this for loop once again and paste it here and I will format my code and here I can give a if condition for filtering out my output so I will just give the semicolon here and then I will just write if the value of uh, for example i is less than so if value of i is less than 6 then only i want to print the value of i okay so this is the condition i want to uh, you know validate and if i is less than 6 then only the value of i will be printed so let me uh, just write here filters using filters and let me run the code and let's see what happens so you can see it prints one two three five four five but whatever value in the list is greater than six it will not print so for example uh, this value is six so we are just validating less than six so until five right so it will not print six or 76 or nine or uh, this value six so it will just filter out these values right so you can use if to filter out the values also now in the previous videos I have told you you can use uh, if conditions as uh, statements and expressions same you can do with the for loops also so till now we have seen how we can execute this for loop as uh, a statement let's see how we can uh, just execute these for loops as expressions also so i will just copy and paste this for loop once again so for using this for loop as an uh, expression what i need to do is i need to give here a curly bracket instead of parenthesis so instead of uh, parenthesis i will use the curly bracket and then i will just write yield here okay and whatever value i want to return from here i can uh, write inside the if statement so for example I want to return the um, square of uh, i for example so I will just something like this and then I want to store the result in some variable so I can uh, just write uh, val here result and then equals and then we can print the value of uh, result using print line so just write print line and then we will just print the value of result so result equals the value of result which is this one and let's see what happens when we run the code so you can see the result is a list so it's giving us the square of the result so earlier the filter uh, was something like this so the result of one squared is equal to one then two squared three squared and the value of uh, square of five and square of four and once again the value of square of uh, five okay so it gives us the list of the results so if you want to uh, use for loop as an expression you use this keyword uh, yield and instead of parenthesis you use these curly brackets
okay if you just want to remove these uh, semicolon here you can do this also using this curly bracket so this is a good thing in the this curly bracket that you can uh, remove this uh, semicolon which you have to use in the case of this parenthesis okay so in the curly bracket you can uh, just remove this semicolon and the code will work just fine so let me run the code and it runs fine okay so this is how you can use for loop in scala i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now